What is going on, my fellow Digidestin? It's your boy, uh, Dragon Hunter Zero, here today with my most anticipated comeback uh, deck build. Um, this is Old Force Vigramon. I've been waiting for, uh, you know, the trial deck 7 and 8 to come out in America so I could actually play this in uh, the BT6 format. I'm very excited. Uh, like I said, this is one of my favorite Digimon, one of my favorite Royal Knights. Uh, only one trumping him is Alphamon. Um, but yeah, without further ado, I'm going to get into the deck profile. Um, so yeah. So uh, starting off with our eggs, I only play four Demi Marimon. And it's the trial deck Demi Marimon. I was thinking about putting um, maybe the BT2 Demi Marimon with this unsuspend draw card. But, you know, typically... Uh, by the time I do anything, uh, this will not matter. Um, uh, yeah, uh, so yeah, uh, Demi, uh, Demi Vim on this one, while you have eight or more cards in hand, uh, you gain a thousand DP, which is helpful for all force in a lot of ways. Um, it's also helpful for some of the other, uh, versions of Vimon or V German that you'll have out. Um, and like I said, I would say, like I said, I might, I was thinking about taking maybe three of this and then maybe two of the bt2 or the 2.0 set uh demi vmon but like i said it kind of doesn't matter this these games end relatively quickly um with this current build um so we'll go on to our rookies i play uh six vmon um so this vmon he can warp digivolve into and all force for a play cost of four, ignoring the Digivolution requirements if your opponent has a level six Digimon on the field. Um, which is why I was saying, like, these games can go relatively quickly depending on your setup. Um, and his ability, his other ability, Inheritable, uh, when attacking, if you have seven or fewer cards in your hand, you may draw one card. And then we have two of the Unsuspend draw one. Um, Vmon. I mixed up the effects. I just realized that it's the uh, you gain a thousand DP if you unsuspend uh, Demi Vmon that I was talking about. But yeah, uh, so like I was saying, Vmon, uh, you know, once per turn, uh, this Digimon becomes unsuspended draw a card, basically. So that's it for the Vmons. Uh, like you know, they're jamming Vmon and all the other kinds of Vmons. I just don't play them um, in this deck. Imperial Dramon is a whole nother story. Um, I play four copies of Elecmon. Um, Elecmon, you know, it's two costs. Um, I actually like this art over the other art. Um, so that's why I play, uh, that. And I messed up. Uh, my fault. Not four. I play three Elecmon. Excuse me. I'm messing up all over the place today. But yeah, he's cost efficient. Bring out just hard play, two costs. And you can kind of go off from there. Um, not really much more to say on him. Then from there, we have... For Dracomon, and Dracomon's skill is on play, reveal the top three cards of your deck. Add one Digimon with Drummon in its name. That is anything with Drummon in its name. Uh, this can be played in D Brigade. This can be played in, uh, like I said, anything with Drummon. Bird Drummon can be searched with him. Anything with Drummon in his name. Uh, so this is a really powerful card um, that I think a lot of the older decks was would be missing or would have been missing. And it just it just helps. So yeah, Draco Mon. Um and then you put the rest of the cards at the bottom of the deck. This card is amazing for, like I said, some of the old formats. Like this makes Draco Mon makes D Brigade, in my opinion, relevant in the BT6 format. Because you can search for anything with Dramon. That's that's uh Command Dramon, Sales Dramon, Dark Dramon, Tank Dramon, anything that you have in the deck with Dramon in its name, you just bring it up. Um, so on to the champions. I play for Coelomon, um, and that's mainly because uh, I have Grizzlymon in another deck, and you, I would say you will occasionally need your blocker. Uh, or not even occasionally, you will need your blocker. Um, you know, so he blocks. Uh, he can be killed by certain cards in the BT6 format, but I wouldn't worry too much about that. Like I said, with this build, you kind of just pop off um, when the time comes. Um... So four Coelomon, and then I play four Vidramon. Um, so uh, 
two Vidramon Zero, two regular Vidramon. Uh, yep. So, uh, this Vidramon's inheritable. If you have eight or more cards in your hand, return one of your opponent's level three Digimon to their hand and trash uh, the, all of the Digivolution sources of that card. Uh, so, that's why I only play him at two. And then Vidramon Zero. Uh, if you got a Blue Tamer in play, trash top three cards of your deck, gain 2,000 DP. And when attacking, as is inheritable, uh, you may place three non-digi egg cards from your trash to the bottom of your deck and then draw one. So he's helpful. Um, I just don't see the point in playing more than two copies of each of these uh, Vidramon. And I know there's the other Vidramon, um, but I don't necessarily need jamming. Um, so that's why I only play these v uh, Vidramon. And then I play three copies of Cordramon. Um, and it's mainly because of his security effect. Because his security attack, uh, effect is awesome. And his own play effect is awesome. Uh, he, he, he's six cost to bring out. Kind of steep uh, for a champion. But on play, um, you draw two cards. And then his security effect, at the end of the battle, you play this card without paying uh, its memory cost. So play, draw two. Uh, whether you bring him out or he comes out of security, you play, draw two. So I play him at three. He's very uh, pivotal and important in my opinion. Uh, on to our ultimates, I play two copies of Monzaimon, and it's mainly because he's cost efficient, two cost to Digivolve, five cost to play. Uh, not really much more to say on him. Um, and then I play six copies of Aero Vidramon. Um, so this Aero Vidramon has jamming, and while you have eight or more cards in hand, your Digimon will get security attack plus one, which can be really powerful for all force. Uh, if you build up that way, if you don't just warp Digivolve, um, but yeah, and then this uh, uh, Arrow Vidramon, when Digivolving, you may unsuspend a uh, Digimon as long as you have a Blue Tamer on the field, and uh, you know when this Digimon is unsuspended, it gains jamming. That's his inheritable. Um, I play more copies of this Arrow Vidramon mainly because of the security attack plus one, because depending on which all force you have out, seeing as those two of them now. Um, you know, you might not necessarily care. Um, you know, uh, I'll, I'll yeah, I'll, I'll explain it. Um, but yeah, this is basically like he gets jamming, and depending on the all force depends on uh, what you want to do. In this instance, if you go, if you dig that far, um, jamming is always a good ability to have, which is why he's at two. But I kind of prefer the security attack plus one. Just to have it eight cards in hand. Um, which, again, Cordramon, Arrow Vidramon, because you're going to gain two off of that, and then you just go into all force and then swing, and that security attack plus one. It's nine times out of ten at that point, you're going to have eight cards in hand. So, that's why I play him at four. Um, and on to our Megas. I play two copies of the new all force from the trial deck, and four copies of all force Vidramon from BT. I think that is two, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this is BT2, um, O Force. Um, which is why I said this this can go nuts, depending on, you know, um how long you've been playing. But this uh O Force, basically, uh when Digivolving, you may uh return one of your opponents over four lower Digimon to the bottom of their deck and trash all their Digivolution sources. And also when attacking once per turn, if you have eight or more cards in hand, you unsuspend. Like I said, if you put him on this um, Arrow Vidramon, yeah, he'll, yeah, he won't have jamming, but still, it'll be swing uh, plus one security attack because you have eight cards in hand, and you get to unsuspend him, swing again plus one security attack. You see where I'm getting that. And then this all force, uh, you know, this is a lot of people. Well, I'm not gonna say a lot of people. I prefer the old one, and that's mainly because. His, uh, his skill. Your turn when a blue tamer is suspended, unsuspend this Digimon. And then once per turn, you gain a memory off of that. So, um, you know, you can just relentless swinging depending on, you know, the setup. But like I said, these games go relatively quick with all force, depending on what your opponent has. Um, you know, it depends on what your opponent has, but nine times out of ten, you swing with this. It's like one, two, whether you have Tamers or not, and if you have Aero Vidramon or not, the game can go quick. Because that's whichever old force you go into, you know, it could be two security, four security, two security, gain a memory, four security. It doesn't matter. The games go relatively quick with them. 
Um, I don't really play any level 7s or hires, and that's mainly because of what All Force can do by himself. Uh, I feel like All Force has high destructive power um, in this meta. I feel like he's going to be a very fun deck for me. Um, and, you know, I've play tested him, but I didn't play him in tournament as of yet. And that's only because, you know, these decks weren't, uh, the trial decks weren't street legal until this coming uh, Friday. Uh, as of today, today is the 8th. Uh, Friday is the 10th. So that's when they're street dated. So I can't play this until this weekend. Um, and on to our tamers and option cards. I play four copies of Rena, Shinomiya. Uh, two copies of Taikamiya V Tamer, and two copies of Sora and Joe. Um, all because they all suspend. Uh, if you suspend him, you draw a card, um, or you give a Digimon a thousand DP. Uh, her skill, uh, when on play, she searches for a Digimon with V in its name, uh, suspend her, give them a thousand DP. Uh, and then Sora and Joe. If your opponent has a Digimon with no Digivolution sources on field, gain two memory and then suspend to get rid of two Digivolution sources, which is why I play that at two. Because you could just play four and four, but I prefer having Sora and Joe. Um, that's it for the Tamers. And so, like I said, last but not least are the options. So I play two copies of Blue Memory Boost um, on play. You reveal the top four cards of your deck. You add a blue Digimon to your hand. And then put this on the side of the field. It has the delayability of trash. You gain two memory. And it's security effect. You get to play the card. Um, and then two hammer spark. Gain one memory. Security effect. Gain two memory. Um, so I feel like this is the perfect ratio for this deck. Uh, because you got a lot of stuff searching for things. Like I said, you got Dracomon searching for anything with Drummond in his name. And that's literally a majority of your deck. You have... Um, uh, arena searching for anything with v in its name so you can get to any v dramon with either of those cards you get to draw extra cards with uh core dramon you know and then like i said this is just icing on the cake um so that is it for my all force uh deck profile um like any other time be sure to leave a like and uh or subscribe if you like the videos that i uh post um and be sure to leave a comment uh you know saying how you would prefer your build, you know, different deck ideas, things of that nature. If you're interested, uh, just, you know, leave a comment. Um, so, again, this is Dragon Hunter Zero signing out.